What's going on, everyone? I thought I'd take a few minutes tonight and review a trade that myself and many of the Focus Trades members had today, and that trade was in Tesla. Now, for those of you who aren't Focus Trades members, each morning, um, you know, a few hours before the market opens, I send out a video that I call the Focus List. And in the Focus List, I list um, the stocks I'm going to watch, potential plays, the sectors I'm going to monitor, and things like that. So. Here's a chart of the S&P 500, and this is what kind of led to the Tesla trade. So for all you non-members, I want you guys to get a grasp of what, as a team, you know, we're looking at here. So yesterday, as you can see, big gap down in the market. So, you know, it was a bad day yesterday in the market. Stocks all across the board were down. You know, the indexes were down. You take a look at Apple, you know, big time sell off here in Apple. Facebook took a hit. So, you know, a bit of selling yesterday. Now, though we had a bit of selling, we are in a very obvious and clear uptrend in the market. You know, it is still a bullish market, still very strong for the time being. So anytime you get a big drop down like that in one day, in the middle of a strong market, guys, there's a good chance that buyers are going to quickly return the next day and move some of those, you know, household names back up to the levels they were at prior to the drop. So my favorite heading into the day was Tesla for this kind of trade. And the reason being is that, you know, rather than being at the highs, Tesla has been sold off to the point that, you know, going into the day today right here, you know, it had room to bounce before even approaching those highs, you know, versus something like, um, you know, say a Facebook, which is kind of still near the highs. So again, you know, what's the first thing that we had here in our game plan, you know, strong market but fell hard. So that was the first thing that we noted as a team. We're in a very strong market, but yesterday, you know, was an ugly day of selling. Now, in the middle of a strong market, when you see, you know, a big gap down like that, oftentimes you're going to get a bounce. Now, you know, as a trader, you got to kind of survey the landscape here. I'm not looking for a huge, you know, massive run out of Tesla. Again, market was down yesterday, but it's a strong market. We were simply looking for a nice little bounce here in Tesla. So what I advised the members did was monitor the 65 minute chart here on Tesla. So every bar here guys is 65 minutes of data. And what I teach everyone in, in the way I trade is that it's a game of supply and demand. These bars down here, they're called volume. And that is a measurement of how much money is coming into a stock. The more money coming into a stock, that's a representation of increasing demand for those shares. So what I did this morning was simply monitor the 65 minute chart until I saw that volume get nice and strong. Again, supply and demand game, where is it demand? Well, as soon as that volume got very strong, guys, I took my position on this bar right here. And an hour later, I exited on this bar right here. So again, trade length was only one hour and my return was a 25% profit. So a 25% plus profit on my investment in one hour. And to you know, kind of show you guys the power of options, my options went up 25% from this bar to this bar, where you know Tesla stock itself only went up about one, one and a half percent. So again, options are very leveraged. It allows me as a trader to make outsized gains while also controlling my risk. So in this quick trade for one hour for a 25% profit, and based upon my position size, that was a $395 profit. So what we're going to do for this example is round that up. Now, you know, keep in mind, my investment was about $1,500, I believe, something along those lines. Let me take a look here. Okay, so my investment was 14,000, I'm sorry, 1,465. So I bought them at 1465 and I sold them at 1850. And these are my options I'm talking about. Well, 1465 to 1850 is actually a 26% profit. So again, guys, in and out in an hour at a 26, 25% profit. And you know, with my position size of 1400 plus, Again, do the math, it turned out to be just about a $400 profit. Now, I understand that, you know, many of you new traders may not have, you know, an account size where you can put, you know, $1,400 into one trade. But again, 
I'm talking about fourteen hundred dollars, not fourteen thousand. You know, it, it is very achievable to get yourself to that point. And here's what's super powerful. So four hundred dollar profit in an hour, right? You know, everyone kind of looks at it from the you know the money from a selfish perspective in terms of you know yada yada. Here's how I kind of like to look at it. So let's say for the sake of argument, minimum wage is ten dollars an hour. Now I don't I don't know if it's more in your area or what the actual average in the United States is, but let's say it's ten dollars an hour. So at ten dollars an hour, you would have to work forty hours to make four hundred dollars before taxes. So here's two situations, and, and here's the power of options. Because of my skill set and because I'm a frugal guy and have built my capital up, in one hour I was able to take a nice and easy trade. And make the same amount that somebody working minimum wage would make in over 40 hours of work. Because again, you're talking, you know, they're going to take taxes out. Uncle Sam always gets his cut. And this isn't to rag on anybody working minimum wage. You know, mind you, just about three years ago, I was working at a gym making about $400 a month. So let that inspire you. Three years ago, I was making less than $400 a month. And now today, because I have honed this skill set and, you know, and dedicated myself and, and knew this day would come and work towards it, now I make that in an hour. So $400, the way I really see that is I made, you know, 10 hours worth of work in an hour. So that's the power of options, guys. You know, nice and simple. As a team, all we do is we watch the biggest sectors and the biggest stocks, and we simply wait for increases in demand. You know, you look over here, look at this crazy move that came from Tesla as that demand increased. So for all you new traders out there, I highly suggest you take some time learning about options. Again, they're very leveraged. So if you buy options on a stock, for every 1% that stock moves, those options are going to move anywhere from 10, 20, even sometimes 50%. So ask yourself, again, same stocks, same setups, our strategy is the same. But when we pull the trigger, we're buying the options, which are very leveraged and allow us to 100% guarantee our risk. So guys, you can check out www.focustrades.com and see what we have to offer. We have a team of about 150 plus strong at the moment and for $99 a year for entire access to our video series, all our training materials, the group chat, morning focus lists, nightly review videos, and trade signals. That's a steal. $99 for an entire year. My goal is to have a group of thousands of traders deep working as a team and a family killing it. So. Congrats to all the members in the Focus Trades team who had a great trade on Tesla today. My buddy Brian made about a thousand bucks on Tesla today in 15 minutes. So we're fucking killing it, guys. Keep it up. And again, guys, focustrades.com.